Hello and welcome to what will become Project Eden. Now Project Eden is so far just an idea, right? Um, and it's an idea about making a total loop sustainable base within the base. I could have started from scratch trying to make it sustainable, but I just want to see if I can make it without using debug mode. I don't want the whole build up phase, right? So I'm going to use my, my, my current base for it. And this base is sustainable, but it has influence from from um, steam gazers, etc. Right. Um, so the idea is to make a small base that has no waste words. Uh, it has no steam gazers, no natural gas gazers, nothing. Right. Um, and I've seen people do this often in mini format, but they, they usually have some water inflow, or at least they use debug mode. Right. It's probably some people who made it like without outside of debug mode. I just haven't seen it, right? But I thought for me it would be really interesting to see if I would manage to make it. I think heat will be a big problem, right? Uh, the rest I think I can solve. So the key to the whole thing is actually this machine. This is absolutely not my design. I'm actually really glad I found it. I found it in the clay forums. Uh, but apparently I think there's some Korean guy who designed it to start with. Now I made some small alternations, but the, the basic of it is, is the same. I don't have like my power plant set up here. I didn't see that point since I already have everything set up over here for, for the power plants, right? Uh, so I can just pump the natural gas here and I can pump uh, carbon dioxide from here over, over to the slicks, right? So what this solves is actually uh, not as much energy as it solves, well, it solves energy problem as well, but it solves water too, because uh, natural gas generators give off a bit of water so it will actually produce like five six hundred grams of water per second and that's that's great because water is one problem the the usual thing that people put into their uh, sustainable colonies is a bit of water right um, however it produces a lot of heat so I will have to try to figure out how to get the dupes not to to fry right uh, so far in my close to 2000 cycles I haven't killed off a single dupe and I don't plan to start that now, right? So another way to, to potentially solve the water problem is of course using puffs. Let's see how my, my puffs up here, right? They produce slime from polluted oxygen. Polluted oxygen you can get from, I'm actually have started uh, making a few of them here, morbs, right? And then you convert that to slime and then you use an algae distiller that outputs polluted water that you just need to clean, right? The problem is puffs are kind of hard to come by and especially hard to get where you want them, right? Uh, people who do this, this in debug mode, they can just spawn like 20 puffs without any problem. I don't have 20 puffs on the map even, right? Uh, however, the, the morbs, I can get as many as I want, right? So I still plan to use puffs and a bit of, of morbs, but it's more for the oxygen production because I need water, but I also want to minimize water usage. So my plan is to make uh, the orbs put out polluted oxygen that I later, and they can even eat, I can put a container of uh, some chlorine there so they got something to eat too. Uh, well, anyway, and, and then use a hydrogen bubbler actually to, um, to take care of, uh, of the polluted oxygen and clean it. Now, I hope it can clean enough polluted oxygen for maybe three dupes, right? I guess it depends how big I make it because energy won't be a problem because this thing outputs a crazy amount of natural gas right so I can probably have like seven natural gas generators running of this uh, I will also hopefully solve my cooling system so it can double like uh, produce clean oxygen but also the clean oxygen will be really cool so it will be cool enough to cool down the base right so if I have oxygen and I have clean water the rest should be kind of not simple but possible to solve right uh, so this is the idea and the idea is to make like five minute videos about this as I progress I, I don't want to make like those where I play for 30 minutes and nothing really happens so I rather like show as far as I gotten and, and and then talk about what I did and then do a new video once I progressed a bit more right so ho hopefully this will be interesting to follow uh, because I'm kind of running out of ideas of what to make of, of this big base now So this will be a kind of nice project for me to see what I'm what's possible to make within the game, right? All right, uh, hope you will enjoy the videos and um, 
I'll get started on Project Eden and hopefully I'll post like at least one or two videos about it per week, right? In between like posting other videos, alright? Uh, big thanks for watching, cheers!